Um, Dr. Khan, thank you so much for taking the time to present your important work with us at SABCS. Um, I think that the results of ECOG Akron 4112 provides encouragement that we have tools within our clinical armamentarium to guide decisions for the safe omission of radiation treatment in our DCIS patients. So I wanted to ask if you can touch on the role of integrating MRI in clinical practice for DCIS patients in this context. So your question is about MRI? It's about MRI and how we can integrate it to our clinical practice for our DCIS patients. Right, so what I talked about this morning was not about MRI, it was about the, um, about the score, the DCIS score. Uh, I think that the role of MRI at the moment is clearest for me and for women who have genetic susceptibility and women uh, who are uh, post-neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Uh, those two situations are very clear and then uh, of course in women with extremely dense breasts. Um, MRI as a surgical planning tool I think has not received the kind of validation that we would like to see in order to incorporate an imaging, um, imaging uh, procedure that can cause a, a burden on the patient in terms of the number of biopsies that can sometimes uh, result from it. Uh, and also, uh, although most patients now have it covered by insurance, uh, it is still an out-of-pocket cost for many women. Uh, so, for personally, for women with DCIS, I do not uh, order MRI except in specific situations. It's not something that I routinely order in terms of making um, surgical plans for resection. Um, it, it's, uh, it's something that needs to be investigated more. And of course, uh, we are awaiting uh, the Alliance trial uh, led by um, uh, Dr. Bedrosian. Uh, which has completed accrual and uh, and will be hopefully ready for release soon. Yes. Uh, but for me, for for surgical treatment planning, uh, MRI is still um, a, an option, but certainly not something that I integrate into my uh, care plan on a regular basis. Well, thank you for that. And you know, as you mentioned, your talk mostly highlighted the DCIS score. Um, and I think one of the things that was the, particularly the most impactful was how the ipsilateral breast rates are different from prior studies. So if you could briefly re reiterate those, because I think that is information that is very reassuring for um, future omission of radiation. Right, so I think that actually the most interesting part of the results um, from 4112 are uh, the results related to the higher DCIS score group. So with the low DCIS score group, those um, in breast recurrence rates are essentially the same as what's been reported previously when women have been selected for avoidance of radiation using GRADE or, uh, or uh, DCIS score, uh, but uh, they're, they're not remarkably different about 1% per year recurrence risk is about the same as in 5194 and the same in the RTOG um, uh, 9148 study. So uh, in, in the DCIS score intermediate and high group though, uh, the, the effect of radiotherapy uh, is clearly seen. One has to unfortunately do a cross-study comparison because we didn't have um, a control group in 4112, it was a single arm study. Uh, but if we do cross study comparisons of the IBE rate in, in uh, women with uh, radiation in 4112 compared to women who didn't receive radiation in other reports from uh, the Ontario um, DCIS cohort uh, reported by Dr. Rakovich in many, many papers as well as uh, the 5194 results, those women experienced much higher in breast recurrence risk. So, um, so what we see in 4112 in that group with high intermediate scores 
is actually uh, quite reassuring in the sense that if the score is high or intermediate, one can say with confidence, with some confidence, again, this is a small study and, uh, and there's no comparison group, but it does lend confidence to the idea that a high intermediate DCIS score is a good reason to try to persuade a woman who's reluctant uh, to consider radiation to really, um, you know, make a serious uh, sort of, um, give it some serious thought. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to present your work and for taking the time to meet with me and answer these questions. We look forward to future results. Same here. We do need more work in this area. <laughs>